Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on how to identify the prime implicants, essential prime implicants, redundant prime implicants from the given Boolean function using Carnap map. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about what is prime implicant, what is non-prime implicant, what is essential prime implicant, what is redundant prime implicant, what is selective prime implicant that can be explained with one example problem. Please refer that video for better understanding of that same concept. Now in this video we have to discuss about the same concept with the two different example problems. Okay. First one, uh, minimize the following Boolean function using Carnap map and identify the essential prime implicants and non-prime implicant. So the given Boolean function f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to sigma m of 2, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12. The given Boolean function can be defined in terms of sum of min terms. Sigma means sum, small m means min terms. Sum of the given min terms 2, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so for the given min terms, we have to identify the uh, minimal expression. After that, we have to identify the uh, what is essential, what are the essential prime implicants and what are the non-prime implicants and what are the prime implicants. Okay, so now here there are four variables are there. So n is equal to four. So four variables are a, b, c and d. So hence we have to use four variable Carnap map. The four variable Carnap map contains 2 power n cells, 2 power n, n is equal to 4, that is the 16 cells are there. Okay, these are the 16 cells. Okay, so this is the structure of the four variable Carnap map. So, among the four variables, two variables can be taken on row side, two variables can be taken on column side. So, I am taking first two variables on row side, next two variables on column side. Okay, there is no wrong at all. Row side I am taking, uh, column side I am taking AB, row side I am taking CD. There is no problem at all. Okay, next one. Here AB can take four possible values that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Here we have to write these four possible values in gray code form. It is a must and should necessary condition we have to follow while representing the any corner map. Okay. Next one, CD can take four possible values. That four possible values can be written on the uh, in the form of gray code. Okay. So each and every cell is represented by one decimal digit at the corner of each and every cell. Okay, so this uh, decimal digit can be obtained by the decimal equivalent of by taking the row wise binary value and column wise binary value for each and every cell. Okay, for example, so I am taking this cell row wise binary value 0, 01 column wise binary value 0 01. 0 01 0 01. What is the decimal equivalent? That is 5. So 5 can be represented in the corner of the this cell. Next I am taking for example this one. So this cell row wise 1 1 column wise 1 1. So 1 1 1 1. The decimal equivalent is 15. So 15 can be written on the corner of this cell. In this way, we have to write each and every cell can be represented by one decimal digit by taking the decimal equivalent of row wise binary value and column wise binary value. Okay, next. Uh, now we are uh, representing this min terms by using digit 1 in the corresponding cells because uh, the given 
the given Boolean function can be defined in terms of min terms. Okay. First, first I am taking min term 2. The corresponding cell is this one. I am inserting 1. Next, min term 3. The corresponding cell is this one. I am inserting 1. Min term 6. The corresponding cell is this one. I am inserting 1. Min term 7. The corresponding cell is this one. I am inserting 1. Min term 10. The corresponding cell is this one. I am inserting 1. Min term 11. The corresponding cell is this one. I am inserting 1. Min term 12, the corresponding cell is this one, I am inserting 1. Once we are inserting the ones at the corresponding min terms of the corresponding cells, okay, now we have to uh, minimum, we have to simplify the these ones by use by forming a octet, quad, and pair. Okay, octet means adjacency of eight ones. Okay, here 8 ones are not there, only 7 ones are there. There is no, hence we can say that there is no possibility of octet. Next priority given for quad. Quad means adjacency of 4 ones. Okay, so here this one, this one, this one, this one. These 4 ones can be formed as a square. These 4 ones are adjacent. They can be formed as a Quad. They can be formed as a quad. Okay. So the remaining here two ones are there. Here one one is here one is there. Okay. So these two ones can be combined with these two ones by folding the corner map in the middle from bottom to top. When we are folding the corner map in this way. So, for these two ones, these two ones are adjacent. Okay. So, these two ones and these two ones, they can be formed as a quad. These two ones and these two ones, they can be formed as a quad. These two ones and these two ones can be formed as a quad. Only one remaining is there. Okay. So, this one is combined with uh, these ones or these ones? No, there is no possibility. Hence, it is a single one. It is a single one. Okay. So, now, what is the expression we are getting? Okay. So, for uh, this quad, what is the expression we are getting? For this quad, what is the expression we are getting? For this single one, what is the expression we are getting? Okay. So, for this quad, okay, so row wise 0, 0, 0, 1, okay, so here I am taking a bar, a bar, next I am taking C, a bar C, okay, next one, these two ones, these two ones, for this one, 1, 0, 0, 0, that means B bar, and in this one, only C, B bar C. Next, for this one, uh, what, what we are getting? 1, 1, 0, 0. 1, 1 means A, B. 0, 0 means C bar, B bar. Okay. So, three prime implicants we are getting. Three prime implicants we are getting. So, how we are getting A bar C? For example, how we are getting A bar C? Here, I am taking... Uh, this one 0 0 1 1 I am writing here 0 0 1 1 for this one 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 for this one 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 for this one 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 I am taking A B C D okay so any column contains a combination of zeros and ones we have to ignore that column. So, B column is ignored, D column is ignored. Only A and C columns are considered because A column contains only zeros, C column contains only ones. Under A column, A value 0 means A bar. Under C column, C value 1 means C. What is the expression we are getting? A bar C. Okay, in the same way, so here this one means 1, 0, 1, 1. 
वन जीरो वन वन दिस वन मीन्स वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो दिस वन मीन्स जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो वन वन दिस वन मीन्स जीरो जीरो वन जीरो 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 वन जीरो सो ए बी सी डी ओके any column contains a combination of zeros and ones we have to ignore that column a column is ignored d column is ignored um, b column contains only zeros we have to consider that column in that column b value zero means b bar c column consider c column contains only ones in that column c value one means c okay so here a वन वन रो वाइज वन वन कॉलम वाइज जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो ए वैल्यू वन मीन्स ए बी वैल्यू वन मीन्स बी सी वैल्यू जीरो मीन्स सी बार डी वैल्यू जीरो मीन्स डी बार ओके सो दिस इज वन प्राइम इम्प्लीकेंट एंड दिस इज वन प्राइम इम्प्लीकेंट एंड दिस इज वन प्राइम इम्प्लीकेंट ओके ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज ए प्राइम इम्प्लीकेंट और नॉट ओके ए प्राइम it is a non prime implicant because first of all what is prime implicant what is non prime implicant a prime implicant is a square or rectangle made up of bunch of adjacent momentums okay so here these four cells that are adjacent these four cells can be formed as a square okay hence we can say that it is a prime implicant a prime implicant is a square made up of bunch of four adjacent ones four adjacent momentums hence we can say that a bar c is a prime implicant okay next one so these two ones and these two ones okay these four ones can be formed as a square bunch of four adjacent momentums this is one momentum this is one momentum this is one momentum this is one momentum so these four momentums are adjacent they can be formed as a square hence we can say that it is a prime implicant so b bar c is a prime implicant okay next one so this one is it a prime implicant no it is not a prime implicant because it is uh, it does not have any adjacent momentum it contains only a single momentum it is uh, it does not have any adjacent momentum hence we can say that it is a non prime implicant a non prime implicant is a momentum this is a momentum which it does not have any adjacent momentum okay so this does not have any adjacent momentum it does not have any adjacent momentum hence we can say that it is a non prime implicant okay a single one represents a non prime implicant because it does not have any adjacent momentum so what is non prime implicant here a b c bar d a b c bar d bar okay next one so here it is a non prime implicant so here this one is a prime implicant this one is a prime implicant among the two prime implicants which one is essential prime implicant so what is essential prime implicant an essential prime implicant is a prime implicant which contains at least one one which cannot be covered by any other prime implicant okay for example see this one these four ones okay so this is called as an essential prime implicant because it contains four ones uh, it contains four ones among the four ones these two ones are covered by this prime implicant but these two ones cannot be covered by any other prime implicant so these two ones are covered by this prime implicant no only these two ones are covered by this prime implicant but these two ones cannot be covered by either this prime implicant or this prime implicant hence we can say that 
it is an essential prime implicant so essential prime implicant is a bar c okay so essential prime implicant is a prime implicant it contains at least two ones these two ones cannot be covered by the remaining prime implicants okay so the uh, these two ones cannot be covered by this prime implicant these two ones cannot be covered by this prime implicant hence we can uh, it is not a prime implicant so these two ones cannot be covered by this prime implicant hence we can say that it is an essential prime implicant next one so these two ones and these two ones observe this one so here this is an essential prime implicant because these two ones cannot be covered by any other prime implicant okay so these two ones are covered by this prime implicant but these two ones cannot be covered by this prime implicant hence we can say that b bar c is also a essential prime implicant okay so a bar c is a prime implicant and also essential prime implicant b bar c is a prime implicant it is also an essential prime implicant but a b c bar d bar is is not a prime implicant it is a non prime implicant because it does not have any adjacent midterms okay so prime implicants are a bar c b bar c non prime implicant is a b c bar d bar essential prime implicant a bar c comma b bar c okay now we can go for this example what